Your Excellency and Mrs. Kamuno, Honorable Chief Justice and Mrs. Archie, Honorable Attorney General, Minister of National Security, our distinguished guests, it is not my intention to delay you from participating in the relevant libations that I hope is prepared for the afternoon. But I think a good, a good place to begin a term of office as Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago is to thank these very excellent young people. for pointing out to us some lyrics which really moved me. And sometimes I'm asked by persons who are very cynical about those of us who are in the political arena, why do you do it? And some people actually feel that we do it for ourselves because they see us as politicians, as self-serving. But I could say that what motivated me and what continues to motivate me is a responsibility to the young people of Trinidad and Tobago. I used to work at the Seismic Research Unit, which had its front door facing the St. Augustine Senior Comprehensive School. And as a successful member of faculty at the university, um, every so often I would come outside about half past two, quarter to three, just have a rest of my eyes from looking down a microscope or some similar thing. And I would lean up on the front door and the school would be over. And I would see these children just pouring out of the schoolyard, completely oblivious to the world around them. Some playing, some pushing, some laughing, and going into a world just and trust. And I used to ask myself, who's looking out for them? What exactly are they coming up to meet? And what is my responsibility in all of this? And I eventually ended up in the political arena, accidentally, believe it or not. And I've always been driven by the fact that those of us who made it have a responsibility to those who are, are on the way. And if Trinidad and Tobago would be successful today in 2015 going forward, I would like to hold out to all our citizens, take a little less at the top and leave a little more at the bottom for the young ones who come in. So today, as I embark upon this exercise and assignment to have responsibility for all the people of Trinidad and Tobago, to manage your affairs, I see my job as getting all of us involved in this exercise. And starting with today, the job of the Prime Minister to make sure that everybody else works. So therefore, we've selected people at all levels and we'll continue so to do. And I want to make one appeal to our people in Trinidad and Tobago. We have a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot to be grateful for. Spend a bit more time enjoying it, looking at the positive side of life, a little less complaining about how the day didn't go well, when the rest of the week could have gone a whole lot better. And let us try and remember who put us on this path and what they expected of us. If we take these approaches, life in Trinidad and Tobago will become a whole lot more pleasant and a whole lot more enjoyable. I want to thank Almighty God for bringing me from Mason Hall to Diego Martin by way of St. Augustine, to all over Trinidad and Tobago, to be of service to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I want to thank those persons in the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mason Hall who raised me when I might have gone astray and who instilled certain values in me which served me up to this day. And I want to thank all the other people who met me along the way, the Christians, the Muslims, the Hindus, and everybody else who gave me the same advice that I got when I entered high school. You got an opportunity, take it, behave yourself, and make good. That was the advice I got from the village of Mason Hall. And I tried to take it through life. And I think I want to consider myself a successful citizen. So today, I give you the assurance that 
team that you put in place as government of Trinidad and Tobago will make every effort to ensure that whatever we have available to us give us the best opportunity to be the best that we can be. I want to thank my wife in particular, Sharon, and my family for providing that support which allowed me to make it this far. Thank you. Thank you, Trinidad and Tobago. We are about service, and we will serve you to the best of our ability. Thank you.